Hi guys, this is a video on syncing your files to the web quickly, easily and for free. So you see here I've got a shortcut on my desktop called Dropbox. If I double click this, it acts like a folder. It's in Duncan Documents My Dropbox. Inside that I have three different folders and inside one of them I have a couple of files. Now you notice that they all have green ticks next to them. That's because they're synced with the internet. So how does Dropbox work? Well you can see it's running in the bottom right hand corner and it's logged in through my email address. If I right click this you'll see open my Dropbox which will just do the same as opening the folder. And you see we have 2 gigabytes worth of space and an option to go to the web interface. So I'm just going to click that. Now you'll also notice if you went to see this uh, it says upgrade my account. Now for $9.99 that's in dollars a month you can get 50 gig of space. Well, I think two gigabytes of space is ample, really, for what I need to do by just uploading some backups of things, things that aren't really that important. Now, if I just make a random text document and then just drag it in to this folder, you can see that it turns into a little syncing icon. Now, I'm just going to leave that to do that, and I'm just going to go over to the Dropbox web interface. Now, you can see here it says uh, all the recent events that have happened. So, you see, one minute ago, I deleted it because I've been this has taken a few takes basically to make this video so I've just been demonstrating it but it's not gone too well so I've just done it again so you can see it's got all the recent things that I've done and now you see my Dropbox on the web interface so if I go into the backups folder you can see there are my files that I synced a while ago now this is really really useful to have a web interface because for example if you're at college you can't install this Dropbox into the system tray or if you're at work so you need to have a web interface to access your files and I think this is really really useful now if I just run you through these uh, here you see we have the files which again act like a uh, explorer you see here with it we have the new text document I can simply click this and it actually shows a preview but there's nothing in there at the moment so it's not going to show anything so that would be a preview of the text document if I go to the backups and click this file it should, there we go, it downloads it and then you can just download it to your computer really useful if you're at college and you can't install the application because you can download it straight to your college computer if you go to the photos it says to use the photo gallery simply drag photos into your Dropbox's photos folder which I'll be doing in just a second you go to the share you obviously can make a shared folder so, um, similar to Windows Live SkyDrive I think it is where you can just make a folder that anybody can download from and obviously you won't want to put anything personal in that you see the upload so what I'm actually going to do is upload a picture of me or my little avatar I'm just going to upload it to this so th again this is the web interface instead of the application on the computer really useful if it's at college and you see at the bottom right hand corner it's uploaded and it says 1.jpg updated and that basically means it's added itself into my folder and you can obviously see that the new text document has synced and it has that little green tick so what we need to do now just to go and show you the photo gallery is move it into the photos folder now I'm not going to do it on the desktop because that's very simple to do I'm just going to do it on here now obviously this install link I won't show you because it just shows you a download to download this Dropbox application so I'm just going to go to files and I'm just going to drag this into the photos folder simple as that it uses Ajax as you can see now with lots of Ajax it says two files updated that's been changed on other computers again this Dropbox application can be installed on multiple computers and it'll keep them all in sync and also keep them in sync with the web so it's really really useful now if we go back to the photos you'll see that we now have a sort of a thumbnail preview of the picture that I've just uploaded so you can just have a nice little gallery of all the photos that you've uploaded so I think this is really really useful I'm not sure what this 10 invites is for because I simply went to getdropbox.com and signed up but um, you have 10 invites for something I'm not sure what it's for please let me know in the comments if you know if there's anything better than this then again please leave a comment let me know I can be contacted on this email that is mobilephone2004 at googlemail.com if you have any questions or queries then please let me know so thanks for watching my video this is a very easy way to sync your files across computers through the internet and get an internet interface for those who can't install this application and it's all free and you get two gigabytes worth of space so thanks for watching my video please comment rate subscribe if you like my videos and thanks again